Angelica Ross. Ain't nobody worried about him. He's still mad because they passed him up on the Marvels. They didn't want him. Baby Ryan Murphy don't even use him no more. The problem is because you don't know. You, your talent is limited, darling. You think you're a singer? You're not. You think you're an actress? You was okay. You was on Pose. You was on the gay show. They will keep you on the gay shows. You are not universal or mainstream. You will stay in the gay pool. And they will keep you in the gay pool. Understand that. That's where you belong. I ain't worried about what Angelica got to say about me. That's a hard-ass nigga who had to move out of his $10,000 house that he was ringing every month because he couldn't afford it. I know the roommate. I helped the roommate get a job when she put the roommate out. I don't, have, don't have me bring the roommate on live and check that bitch and let y'all know why she doing all this. She ain't got no finances. Zero. Oh, yes. Oh, you talking about somebody just sent me the, the thing she put out on Twitter, on Hollywood Unlocked, whatever she had to say about me. Baby, if you was that much, if you that smart and you was that much of an analyst, then you maybe you should have went into that because your other profession ain't working for you. You ain't no singer. Yep, you was on Pose. Good for you. I am proud of you, girl. They killed you off on Pose. And they... Shut up, Flame Monroe. I ain't worried about that bitch. That bitch was in the Navy. Nigga, go back and, and, and fight for your country. Somebody just said that what happened. You live, she was living above her means, renting, a, renting, not only renting a house that was ten thousand dollars a month. And she had to move out because she couldn't pay the rent. See, I know the dirt. See, I just don't come after y'all until y'all come after me because I do research. I'm a research analyst. I know the dirt. Player, pimping, sir, ma'am, ma'am, sir, and you still angry at everybody else because you cut your penis off. Let me tell you about the distraction tactic that was used at Just Hilarious. Because the trans woman, I'm being respectful, who came out was talking about periods and womanhood. She never said nothing about who looked like this or that and the other. When Just Hilarious addressed her, she was talking about periods and womanhood. She also said that women can never have periods. And I just was not attacking the entire trans community. I'm not, I didn't even take it like that. She was speaking to the person who publicly put out that statement. That's what she was talking to. But they took it another that what happened. You wait, and then all these outside forces, these so-called activists and big name bitches jumped in talking about just look like a man. She's been mistaken as a trans man. You cannot bash a bitch who already told her real tea. Jess Hilarious was the one who put that story out on The Breakfast Club. She also says it as a joke on stage. So you can't hate the player, baby. You can't hate the player. You hate that you the only information that you know about this woman is what she put out for you to try to turn and use it against her. Let me show you how much of a biological woman Jess Hilarious is. She had a baby. Quiet bitches on the outside, I don't hear you saying anything. Quiet bitches on the outside, I don't hear you using your big words and your, your big titles and your soliloquies. Let me break it down to you activist bitches. When you are an activist, you are an activist for all causes. Your main cause is what you stand on, but you are an activist for all causes. I'm sorry you went to college and don't know that with your dumb asses. You fighting for a car way and then all women only have periods. I know trans women who have had SRS surgeries that don't want to have periods. I know biological women that don't want to have periods. So why would you even be talking about a period? And then why would y'all come in talking about the way she look or who she got spooked by? That had nothing to do with the argument. That's a distraction, Donald Trump, or that's your lack of intelligence because you think you got all these followers and you got a big name that people going to automatically fall into the plate. That's what you say. What I need for my biological women is for more biological women to stand up for yourselves because here's the killer. As a young gay boy or as a young fag or whatever the word is, 99% of us, our best friend, our best friend was a female. Our best friend was a female. Then we found our transism and our gayism, and now we better than them. Y'all better pay attention. Your best friend was always a biological girl. Oh, but now you better than girl. Sit your dumb ass down. And I say girl with... with. Jess Hilarious was not speaking to all trans women. Jess Hilarious is a fruit fly. I have worked with her on a couple of occasions in, in New York. She likes the game. The girl just was out of pocket. Y'all keep pointing the finger at Jess. You should have pointed the finger at the the, the um, activists that went after Jess because who they should have went after was the trans girl who made the initial video. 
We don't have anything to do with periods. Girls have SRS, sex, sexual reassignment surgery. And though they're not going to have a period, it's not even for us to be discussed about. It was as bad as that man hitting that woman in the face in Chicago, the knockout king, and all the men standing around and didn't say nothing. The trans sisters that are activists, because I'm not an activist, they should have stood up and said, hey, that ain't cool. You don't say no shit like that. We love women. But they didn't. They decided to attack women. Well, I'm not going to entertain that much longer. It is it's done. I see, she said she printed out what well, she printed out, and I hope you guys saw it because it was all over Hollywood Unlocked. And I'll show you how gangster I am. I posted it. Now I'm not going to delete what she said. I'm going to keep up what she said. And if you haven't seen it, here it is. She says Flame received huge blowback from that and. From from me when I was on Comic View and from that and I think it hurt her career. So what does she do? She learns not to make transphobic jokes at cis women, but to use the old comedic skill of self-deprecation to get laughs. This is what internalized transphobia looks like. And then she joined forces with transphobic people to champion their night to be trans their right to be transphobic. We have been and are still are let down by flame because we remember the good old days when we were laughing with her not at her stay in your lane little boy that was my last warning to you i'm, I'm gonna try not to be petty again with you but just know bitch i can get under the dirt fuck in the dirt i can get under the dirt bitch i know the devil's number i can knock on the nigga's door so play with your mama you better leave me alone that was your warning i took it down because i was professionally asked to take it down. No apologies. Zero. She's setting us back. I ain't setting us back. Let me tell you who's setting us back. Y'all. Which y'all bullshit. You want to know who's setting us back? Let me tell you why we being set back. Because y'all have allowed George Santos to lie to become a state senator of New York. Who did drag shows in Brazil. Who is openly gay. Who sat on the Senate seat and signed the anti-gay bill in in. Florida, don't say gay and no drag shows. Meanwhile, he's clearly gay and he has done drag shows, but he signed against us. But y'all mad at me. Get your motherfucking life together. Because that's what we should be in an uproar about. He needs to be removed. And every LGBTQIA plus WXYZ to the third quotient under the bridge, over the river, and through the woods should be protesting to get his ass out that seat. But you're not. You're too busy attacking a woman about a fucking period. It's old, it's new. I don't, I don't understand all that. You know what really blows my mind? When I see biological women going on the attack of biological women against trans women that have said things that was out of pocket. I've seen a couple of those videos. By, oh, she's not securing her womanhood. That had nothing to do with any of that. The, the root of the entire situation was a trans woman making a video say that women don't own periods or womanhood. That was the root of the situation. When y'all came in with looks and who's transphobic, and y'all gonna have to stop with all that transphobic. Everything, every time somebody don't agree. So y'all can have an opinion and nobody else can have an opinion against what you say. I want you to hear me and hear me clearly what that looks like. This country is very misogynistic and very masculine toxic. This country also puts women down, pushes women down. So all these men... All the men who are sexist and who try to keep women on the back burner, let's pay. She's a real woman. She shouldn't, she shouldn't get what we get. Then you get trans women who have born male turn into women as trans women. You turn back into the same sexual misogynist that kicked it off. So you turn into a woman just to turn back to the man that's treating the women bad. Please make that make sense to Flame Monroe. I'm not the smartest bitch in the world. It took me five years to get out of high school and I didn't go to college. But you turn from a man to a woman to turn into back to the man that that's always discarding the women. I, I don't need they they not come them, first of all, let me explain something to y'all. All of them girls 
on the outside looking in look like they're doing way better than me. They on platforms, on TV shows, on 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 um. I ain't doing none of that. I'm not. I'm in my kitchen talking my shit. I ain't doing any of that. Yes, I did. They ready. Yes, I'm on Amazon Prime. Yep, I'm happy with all of that. But I'm over here. We over here doing our thing. We don't even be fucking with nobody. Our numbers usually be a hundred and some people. A p- period. I don't want to do this just to get numbers. That ain't who I am. I don't give a fuck if I have 15 people. I don't. Because that's not who I am. That's not what I'm pushing out. I'm pushing out only positive and truth. But, oh, I can get in the dirt. I can get in the dirt. And I can get dirty. So, if that was a reminder that I can get quite filthy... You know, okay, it might be a reminder that some of y'all need it. That to play with your mama, do not play with me. Respect your elders. Since y'all love to call me aunt, oh, get here. Ain't that the end game of living? It's to get old. Lonnie B, what it do? Because I understand that in a moment of passion, in a heated moment, she was speaking to the person who sent out the message, which was the young lady who made the video talking about women own don't own periods in womanhood but she didn't say i'm speaking directly to you because she was heated and i get that but i knew what who she was talking to because that's who instigated the fight so jess was talking to her everybody else came in with a side distraction with a sad distraction just jumped in threw their two cents in and had nothing to do with this this ain't no perpetuating no stereotype or pushing no other narrative you bitches want to use all these big words it is what it is the, the big name activist, because when you're an activist, let me explain it to you one more time. You're not just an activist for your cause, but you're an activist for the cause of right. You don't say shit. Silence is complicity. Do you not read Dr. Martin Luther King's memoirs? Silence is complicity. Y'all want to speak about it when it pertains to something that's going to get you some numbers and some likes. But when it's the truth and when we really need to be standing by our biggest allies, the biggest allies of the LGBT community has always been biological women and will always be biological women. But now you want to turn your back on the only allies that we truly have in our corner? And a lot of them have to be our allies because they are our mothers. And I shouldn't say have to be because a lot of mothers turn on their children because they're gay or are trans. So we can't turn on the ones that we have in our corner because the men don't give a damn. So now y'all want to turn on them. Y'all can miss me with all that. 